So Annie, hello. Hello. Lovely to chat to you today. Thank you for coming down. You're welcome. So tell us a little bit about yourself. You've got an interesting fact you can tell us about or some kind of, you know, just get to know you a little bit. Um, well, I'm from Cardiff um, and I sing Welsh electronic pop music um, and um, Yes, that's, that's, <laughs> yeah, this is me. That's this nice. I like yeah, that. Yeah. And your new single, "The Dance," is obviously yes. on the way as a release. Your newest yes. release. Yes. So, can you tell us a little bit about that for us? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I sing it. It's the dance, uh, but it's a dance in Welsh, yeah. um, and it's, I suppose, roughly about um, sort of being stuck in the mundane life. You feel like you're part of a machine. You can't get out. Your only way to get out is just to get wasted on the weekends. Yeah. But um, so, for me, the dance means escapism um, and whatever your version of escapism is. And for me, like it's like music or drawing or something, but it is whatever makes you feel free. That's nice, <laughs> we all want to feel free. <laughs> it's, like good track, huh? yeah. it's really get engaging as well, because obviously I'm not a Welsh speaker, because I'm no. like not of the Welsh persuasion. <laughs> um, and um, for me, I absolutely love it. I got immersed in it and I thought oh, it was fantastic. You. And the video was really, really cool as oh, well. So if you come up with the concept for that, were you involved? Because um, it's really creative. Yeah, well, it was directed and filmed by Del Gore, he's fantastic. And it was a collaboration really. I knew that I wanted to look weird, I think I managed that quite well. Yes, um, weird and scary and a bit alien looking. Um, um, otherwise, I think we wanted, yeah, we wanted a more dreamy, positive spin for the chorus, but with a sort of dark, weird vibe in the verses. Which is good, everyone loves a good dark vibe. Yeah. Don't they? <laughs> yeah. So do you kind of like to put messages in your music to kind of uh, like portray to people like, how you'd like them to feel and things like that? I think so. I mean, I mean, fundamentally it's pop music, so you don't have to look into it. If you just want to like have a nice tune, it's fine. And I think that's why I like, I like, you could, if you look into it, there's something there. And if you can't be bothered, it just sounds nice and that's fine. That's so I, I like that sort of, that's why I like pop music. Definitely. And it's really nice that you sing in Welsh as well. It's yeah. really nice that you keep that. Is that something that's quite personal to you that you like to kind of have your native tongue like in the yeah, in your tracks? Yeah, it is. Well, I, when I started making music, I lived in England. So I went to university in England. Um, yeah. So I went to Liverpool and I lived in Brighton and London. And so I made music in English first. So coming back and I'd started a band here and it was an English band. But I'd realised that most of my friends that I had, like 90% of them spoke Welsh. So I, I was like, what, what am I doing? Yeah, so, so they can understand Welsh. So it was great. And um, it's been... Like yeah, you, I've got to like relearn and re know my own culture, which yeah. I I hadn't been a part of for about ten years when I was out out of the country. Yeah, so it's great to <laughs> be back, back in, in it and like to be able to appreciate Welsh music, pop music from the past and present pop music. And there is a lot of stuff there where I may have dismissed it in the past, and I shouldn't have because that was very silly. But, uh, <laughs> you come back to it, I and that's have. really nice, and it's yeah. good. And when people come and see your set live, do they yeah. kind of mind that it's in Welsh? Do you get good feedback well, anyway? Actually, it's quite strange because there's a quite a strong tendency in Wales for Welsh promoters and English promoters to put all the Welsh acts together, even yeah. if they're different genres. So it can be quite strange to line up sometimes. Yeah. And actually, I've only ever done one Welsh like gig, so yeah. I've played, I've supported a lot of bands recently, and they've all been English. Yeah. So I. Well I, well, I don't think it's been a problem because what, what I find when I go to gigs, I can't hear what they're saying anyway. You can't. So you're like, ah, oh, <laughs> well, I'm not sure. And you just, you might just assume it's English. I don't really mind, but it hasn't been a problem. It's, it's probably a plus, I'd say. It's, I think so as well. I mean, when I've listened to it, I've really enjoyed the musical side of it anyway. And it's, it's so catchy and it's oh, like really thanks. fun. I had this to Little Things as well. Oh yeah. And that was your Eurovision it entry was. as such, wasn't it? It, it was, so yeah. That was really cool. So how, what made you want to do that? Um, oh, I just love the Eurovision. I always yeah. say it, after Christmas is the best day of the year for me. I love it so much. Um, and like, I've just considered what would a, like a Welsh entry be? Because obviously like the UK, it will always be English. I was like, exactly. well, you see like perhaps France or, you know, Spain, they might have like, you know, a Spanish or a French verse and then they'll have the English chorus. It's like, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah that's what I'll do. Nice. So that's just sort of, and it feels like a Eurovision song. I mean, I couldn't. It does. Yeah. I so completely I like, agree with yeah. you. I would be loving that. Yeah. And I like how you've done it in English, the chorus as well, so everyone can sing along to yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, and I quite like hearing people. When I, I, this, I really like a song by, um, uh, Japanese, no, Korean pop band called Wonder Girls. I haven't got a clue what they're saying, but I like like singing it, whether I'm singing the right words or not. And I quite like thinking of that. Maybe if people, like English people, sing my songs, they 
might sing the word, well, the sounds rather than Definitely. the words. And that, I, I find that quite interesting. As I well. think that's the beauty of pop, though, isn't it? You can do so much with that, and it appeals to everybody, and well, you can't, you know, it's, it's a mass audience, so you can't yeah. really go wrong with that. So, if you had the chance to go on stage and perform little things at Eurovision, yes. what would you do with the set? And do you have a costume idea what you might um, want to wear? Oh my goodness, that's a great question. Um, well, I know that you have to have a maximum of six people, yeah. so I would probably have like like an ice skating like cat or something that's good so that's one that's a good done. i like that yeah so that's <laughs> one um I, I i have no idea costume would obviously be loads of glitter and it has to be costume yeah. change so it has to have layers on yeah um i might have to have like a riser so then i just come out with yeah. a guy or like yeah. fly any smoke as well you know? oh yeah that and, an, and a wind machine yeah um, a, gl a glitter microphone definitely um, maybe a dragon because it whales. It's like got to be done. a dragon. Yeah. So uh, that, 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 I'd that definitely kind of watch that. Yeah. I think you should get on this and get, yeah. you know, get, get entering. <laughs> It'd be good. Yeah. So what can we expect if we go see a set of you? Like watch Ali um, live. What can we expect um, to see? Well, my setup. I, I play by myself, so I've got um, my own like machines. Just press buttons or just not press buttons. Just yeah. Stand there. Um, and it's quite lively. I mean, generally they're quite like. Upbeat. I think there's one like miserable one. Well, it is in a miserable song, but it sounds miserable. Yeah, yeah. But so there's one of those, and I do that at the start generally. So it's out of the way. Get and it it's out of the way. Good times. Everyone loves um, a good like mixture in there. Well, I think it needs a bit of texture. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's exactly. Thanks. Yeah. Like um, <laughs> yeah, it's quite lively. I mean, I, I try to speak between songs, but sometimes it's just boring and annoying, and then I just it's. Yeah, when I was in a band before, I used to talk between songs, the drummer would just start playing because he'd had enough. Yeah. It's like, you're boring. <laughs> so I try to not make it boring. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a very difficult job, but with your music, because it's so upbeat, it's really good. People could like listen to it and be like, yes, it's yeah. good. I definitely want to come to a set, so I think oh, I'm going to pop you. down to the next one when I can. It'd be really good. So is there anything else coming out that you're writing or recording at the moment that might be yeah. coming out in the next So months? I'm recording an EP with a Welsh electronic um, artist called a pen catalyst and his producer name is wh davodol um nice. and so he produced uh, the events um, so, and it's, and i I, re I really enjoy working with him because he's his sound is quite dark and um you could say sometimes frightening in a very positive way and, and i've got a tendency to be quite cheesy yeah. so he takes it out and makes it like so I, I think we're a sort of a good match in that sense that's really nice. have you got any goals of who you'd love to work with is there any of the artists obviously you sound amazing and is there any more that Gosh, um, i well producers i like i don't know if suit me sonically but producers i like that make pop music i like deb hines um and probably max martin all the Britney stuff and That's Taylor cool. Swift so. oh, okay. and he's Swedish and like they make the best pop yeah that is pop anthems right so, there isn't yeah. it so that's really cool so, yeah. have you got any gigs coming up at the moment that people might want to come and see I do on Saturday this Saturday 2nd of July I'm playing in Tavoil which is in the castle Fantastic. and I'm playing at 3 o'clock Come along. Come along to that. <laughs> um, that'll be exciting. I, I love Tavoil. It's quite exciting playing in the castle because I've been to Tavoil a few times. Yeah. But also, like, I'm from Cardiff and the idea of playing in the castle, I kind of feel like a queen or something. Like, I'm the queen of the castle. Yes. So definitely. it's really exciting. So I used to go there when I was little and hang out with the peacocks. And now I'm like singing, and it's, it's just be amazing. amazing. It's like, so hopefully, the weather's nice because it's pretty dreadful today. At the moment, today. yeah, we both got soaked coming in, I yeah. think. Yeah. <laughs> we needed a hairbrush for yeah. this thing, too. I think yeah. it's pretty bad. So, my final question to you now if okay. you could form a super group with three other artists that are alive, who would it be and what would you call yourselves? Um, okay, so with three other people, so I need definitely one more girl. Um, I went, uh, recently went to the Festival, Festival of Voice and wow. saw Ronnie Spector. Fantastic. Um, so, I would say definitely her because her voice is ridiculous. She's still got like the best voice ever. Yeah. Um, I was like, Paul McCartney because oh, I love just him. Paul McCartney, He's Paul McCartney. I love him and always will. Um, and probably Philip Glass, composer, because he'd make it ridiculous. So, uh, what would it be called? Oh. It's difficult. The, the name is difficult. The name it? is difficult. It's Maybe like what's this? I like this. Product placement. Live hat. That's what it Have says here. Life hat. There we go, Life, life hat. hat. So, life hat. I like yeah. that. So look out for Life Hat in the yeah, future when you get great. there. Yeah. It's going to be good. <laughs> so where can people like listen to your new single and maybe purchase it if they'd like to as well? Oh, if they'd like to purchase it. I'm on Bandcamp at the moment. So it's 
www.bandclub.com forward slash Annie Glass so it's A-N-I Glass yeah um, and I've got a few songs up there but a thanks is the new one um, and then I've got SoundCloud as well which is the same Annie Glass but they're the same songs so it's the same time yeah, same wicked same. exciting yeah. stuff well thank you yeah. so much for coming down thank to talk you. to me today thank you thanks very much thank you so much